the engineering, research, and development team at Mega Detection, a dream is now a reality with Gold Star 3D Scanner, a comprehensive metal detector with multiple detection technologies within one device that provides prospectors with all the necessary tools to detect buried treasures. The integrated Gold Star 3D Scanner contains eight different systems to search for gold, metal, and ancient archaeological burials with advanced technology and ease of use at the same time. Gold Star 3D Scanner. Search System. Ground Scan System. Automatic Long Range Locator System. Manual Long Range Locator System. Control Long Range Locator System. Ionic System. Bionic System. Live Stream System. Pinpointer System. Package Contents. One. Main Unit. System Box. 2. Intelligent Multi-Transceiver Unit, IMTU. 3. Vertical High Signal Transceiver, VST. 4. Multi-Ground Scanner, MGS-60. 5. Connector Base for Probes. 6. Lithium-Ion Battery. 7. Higher Stick, Shaft. 8. Middle stick, shaft. 9. Lower stick, shaft. 10. Armrest, holder. 11. Two long range antennas. 12. Headphones. 13. Accessories box, including MGS screw and nut, two of each. Washer for plastic stick, shaft. Armrest, holder, screws, additional parts, universal power adapter, headphones cable, battery charger, 220 volt, panel buttons explanation, two, back button, backward. 3. OK. Enter button. 4. Main menu button. 5. Control settings arrow buttons. Right, left, up, down. Device settings. Power on. To turn on the main unit, just press the power button. Power off. To turn off the main unit, just press the power button. When confirmation message appears, choose yes to confirm or no to cancel. Adjust settings. You can set the device settings by selecting settings from the main menu. Power. Use this option to save power when using the device. With this option, the battery lifetime can be increased by at least 50% depends on the search system and the type of connected probe. Date and time. Use this option to set device date and time. To set the date and time, follow these steps. 1. Use the left-right arrow buttons to select the date and time item. Then press OK. 2. Use the up-down arrow buttons to select, then press Set Date, and then OK. 3. In this window, use the arrows to set the correct date, then after setting each one, press the OK button to save. 4. After adjusting the settings, press the back button. Time. 1. While in the date and time setting menu, use the up-down arrow buttons to select the set time option, then press OK to save. 2. In this window, use the arrow buttons to set the correct time. 
Then after setting each field separately, press the OK button to save. Three, after adjusting the settings, press the back button. Security settings. To activate the device's security settings, you must click on the security lock option within the security settings. After activating the previous option, the security lock code can be set by the set security code option. When operating the device for the first time, the device will ask you to enter the security code, device password, which you'll get from the manufacturer or through the authorized distributor of your device in your country. The security lock option can be locked in the device so that the device does not require the entry of the code after each operation. Reset. You can use this menu to reset device settings. There are three types of resets. Reset settings. With this option, all settings in the device will return to their defaults, but you will keep the information saved in the memory. Factory settings. With this option, all settings in the device will revert to the factory defaults and the memory data will be erased. Clear the memory. With this option, the memory data will be erased. After selecting the reset option, a confirmation window will appear. By clicking yes in this window, the reset will be done. Screen. You can control screen settings using this menu. Sleep mode. By turning on this option, the device's screen will go to sleep in the absence of any activity. Screen brightness. User can control screen brightness using this option. Language. The device software interface is available in 12 languages, namely one, English, two, three, Spanish, four, French, five, Italian, six, Russian, seven, Turkish, eight, Chinese, nine, Hebrew, 10, Urdu, 11, Arabic, 12, Persian. To change the language, the user has to go to the language tab, then choose change language using the up-down arrow buttons, then press OK. Then choose the preferred language using the left-right arrow buttons, and then press OK. Sound. User can control the device's sound status using this menu. General volume level. Use this option to control the sound of the whole device. Button pad volume. Use this option to control the button pad sound volume. Scan volume. Use to select the sound setting you need to change and then press on, then use to change the sound volume. Info. This screen includes all device information. One, device version. Two, software version. Three, device model. Four, serial number. 5. Country of Manufacturer After completing all the setup processes, the following window will appear on the screen. Ground Scan The Ground Scan system is a completely new system in new mega detection devices with new and improved technology. This system helps the user to scan the ground and create a 2D visualization on the device screen or 3D visualization on any supported Android tablet via multi-visual analyzer app. This system can make searching and finding burials and underground cavities such as tunnels and basements easy for the user with greater speed and accuracy. Device installation. One. Prepare the main unit and the shafts unit. Note, make sure that the antennas unit are locked so that they are stable during use.
2. Assemble the MGS60 and the lower shaft using the specified screw and nut. Insert the middle shaft into the upper shaft. Three. Mounting the main unit on the holder. Place the device main unit on the device holder on the shaft. Fit the main unit and the holder rail in parallel position. Place the main unit on the holder rail until you hear the lock pin sound. To suit the width of the main unit on the holder, there is an option that users can use. This option helps position the device on the holder rail so that users can see the display clearly. One, loosen the screw on the holder counterclockwise. 2. Fit the main unit to the preferred degree and close the screw again. 4. Connect the MGS cable to the base of the connector, the plug for probes. Five. Connect the battery to the arm holder, armrest, with the battery clip in the specified position. Six, connect the battery to the device. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System selection. To start using the ground scan system, select it from the main menu. After selecting the ground scan system from the main menu, a new screen will appear to select the device on which the results will be displayed. There are two options, device and tablet. Selecting device in this list means that the user can see results directly on the device screen. Selecting tablet in this list means that the user can see the results on the tablet screen that came with the device that includes multi-visual analyzer application to display the results visually. Set up to display results on device screen. Scan mode. On this screen, the user can choose the scan mode and there are two options. One, manual mode. The user performs the scanning process manually. That is, he records measurements manually at each scan point. 2. Automatic mode. In this case, the device will automatically scan the points without user intervention, as it scans the points automatically with an interval between each point. User only has to press ON Start button at start of next scan line. To choose the appropriate scan mode, use the left-right arrow buttons, then press the OK button. Scan Path On this screen, the user can specify the direction of the scanning path, which includes two options. One, one direction. The ground scan is performed for each line with the same direction, i.e., the direction of the scan is according to parallel lines and a distance between them. 2. Zigzag 
In this case, the start of the next scan line is at the end of the previous scan line, while leaving an offset distance. Meaning that every two successive lines are scanned in an opposite direction. Select your preferred scan path mode using the left-right arrow buttons, then press the OK button. Scan Area Size The user can choose the dimensions of a scanning area using this screen, which are Width Lines It's the number of scan lines, and can be set using the up-down arrows. Then press the OK button. Height Steps this number expresses the number of scanning steps, or points, for each line, and it can be changed by using the up-down arrows and then pressing the OK button. To understand the difference between lines and steps, look at the following figure. When the user stands straight in the search area, every step he takes forward is called a scan point, or step. Every time the user moves to the left or right, it's called scan line, meaning he moves to a new scan line. Start point. Here, the user can specify the starting point of the scan within the area, and there are two options. Left. The start of the scan is in the lower left corner of the scanning area. Right. The start of the scan process is from the lower right corner of the scanning area. The location of the starting point can be selected using the left-right arrow buttons, then pressing the OK button. Scan. After completing all the previous settings, the user will see a screen showing the settings chosen through the previous steps. You can press the button at the bottom of the screen. Press OK to scan, to actually start the scanning process. How to use. After the setup is complete, make sure the device is fully and correctly assembled. Hold the device in the following manner and make sure that you're holding the device fixed to your body without moving. Then stand on the zero or starting point in the scanning area and press the start button located under the handle of the device. Keep the MGS height steady while scanning at approximately a constant distance from the ground. Make sure to record the scan point at each point by pressing the Start button in manual mode before moving to the next point. The minimum area of a rectangular scan area must be observed, as it must be at least 3 by 3 meters in size, and it's preferable that the dimensions of the scan area be 3 by 3, 6 by 6, or 9 by 9, with a 30 centimeter distance between each scan point. If there is an uneven area of land, first clean the area and arrange it as flat as possible before performing the actual scan. Continue scanning step by step according to the scanning paths you selected. One direction or zigzag. After each line of the scanning process is completed, you'll see an alert on the screen which means you have to start a new scan line. Change your position to the beginning of the next line and then press the start button located under the handle of the device. On the screen appears a window that includes a grid of cells, according to the number of lines and steps previously set. In the right pane, you can see information about the current step, current scan line, and numeric value of the probe during the scanning process. When the scanning process is completed, you'll see an alert on the screen stating that the scanning process is complete. Press OK to exit. During the scanning process, you'll see the color change of each cell of the grid. According to the current scan point, according to different colors. The user can know whether there is a target under the scanned ground or not by the color of each cell. The following is an explanation of the color connotations. Green, normal ground, soil. Light blue, a small space. Blue, voids and cavities, like a tunnel. Yellow, small pieces of metal. Red, gold, or other large pieces of metal. 
Scan Files. The device includes a memory to save scan results as files. This means that the user can open a previous scanning process and redisplay and analyze the results at any time, even when the device is not in the original scanning area. You can choose the Scan Files option from the main menu, then press the OK button and a new screen appears. This screen includes a list of all the saved files that you can open and review. Use the arrow buttons to select the saved file, then press OK. Every time the user selects a file, a pop-up window appears with three options. Open. Select this option and then OK to open the saved file. Delete. Select this option to delete the current file. Cancel. Select to cancel opening the file and return to the file list. Grid lines. This option shows or hides the grid lines that represent the scanning area, where each cell represents one scanning step. Scan point. Choose a cell from the grid. Use this option to select a specific cell from the scanning area grid within the scanning results screen. After clicking on the search icon, use the arrow buttons on the button board to select a specific cell. To return to the scanning tools, press the back button. Note, the user can press the start button on each cell to display the exact result value for each of the MGS60 built-in sensors on the result screen. Color filter. Use this option to hide or show the green color, representing normal ground. This is useful for showing areas of the scan that include metal targets or voids. At the bottom of the scan results screen, an information bar is displayed that includes several text fields that display information about the selected cell from the grid, making it easier for the user to analyze the results. Color ratios. The three color bars, red, green, blue, represent the percentages of each target type within the specified cell from the scan area. Average. This field represents an average value of all values in the detected points. Depth. When the selection is made on the cell, the depth value will appear in the lower information bar, and the user can see the depth in each cell with this option. On the other hand, this value represents the depth value in the selected cell on the result screen. Automatic Long Range Locator System, Auto LRL. It is an advanced search system that covers a large scan distance within a very wide scan area within the specified land. This system automatically searches for buried metal targets within the scan area according to the settings that are set in advance. This will reduce the search area as much as possible, saving effort, time, and cost for the prospector. Device Installation 1. Connect the IMTU probe to the device. 2. Connect the antennas into the sockets in the device, as follows. Three, use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Note, make sure the lock of the antenna unit is closed so that they are stable during use. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start using the automatic long-range locator system, select this system from the main menu and then press the OK button. After system selection, a screen will appear which includes a couple of tabs to set the settings for the system, which are distance, 
The device can search for targets for a distance of up to 3,000 meters. And the user can change the distance value with the up-down arrow buttons. Depth. It represents the maximum depth that the device will search for targets within the range from 0 to 100 meters. And you can choose from predefined values using the arrow buttons. How to use. After the setup is completed, hold the device as follows and make sure that you're holding the device fixed to your body without moving. Then stand in the search area and press the OK button on the keypad to start the scanning process. When you press the OK button on the keypad, the following screen will appear, which includes a graduated bar graph made of rectangles with a red line in the middle. This red line is the center of the scanning process, or degree zero, and the user then directs the device to the front side. During the scan process, the user stands at a fixed point and moves the device only from the center to the right side slowly, according to the indicator at a rate of 90 degrees. When reaching the far right, the user begins to return at the same speed from the far right to the center. Immediately after the indicator and the user reach the center, the indicator will start to go to the left side, and the user will also direct the device to the left side according to the indicator, also at a rate of 90 degrees. When reaching the far left, the user begins to return at the same speed from the far left to the center. In this system, the user covers 180 degrees from the perimeter around him without moving from his place, only moving the device according to the indicators on the screen. Report After completing the search in the area, you can click on Next by pressing the OK button to move to the results report. Using this report will help determine whether or not this area contains any valuable target. You can see four types of targets in this screen. Gold, Silver, Iron, and Diamonds. The percentage of each shows the probability ratio of the discovered target, and through it, the nature of the target can be known. Control Long Range Locator System The Control Long Range Locator System is one of the new technologies and important features that have been integrated into the device, which enables the user to specify the exact value of the search frequency in millihertz units to search for a specific type of metal or target made of a specific mixture of metals, thus ensuring more accurate results when searching using this system. The user can set multiple values and options related to the search. Device installation. 1. Connect the IMTU probe to the device. 2. Connect the antennas into the sockets in the device as follows. Three, use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Four, make sure that the lock of the antenna's unit is open so that they are movable during use. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection 
to Star Control Long Range Locator System. Select this system from the main menu and then press the OK button. After system selection, a screen will appear which includes a couple of tabs to set the settings for the system, which are Soil Type. Using this option, the user can specify the type of soil in the area in which he wants to search. The available soil types that have been added to this device are Rock Neutral Soil Mixed Soil Metallic Clay Sandy Mineral Chalky Salty Frequency The user can manually adjust the search frequency value according to a specific target type using this option. Frequency values range from 250 Hz to 18,000 Hz. Use the arrow buttons to change the value and press OK. Note, the user can change the frequency value by 1000 Hz by pressing the up, down arrow buttons. Or 250 Hz by pressing the left, right arrow buttons. Note, every 1000 Hz is equal to 1 kHz. For example, if the user chooses 5000 Hz, it means 5 kHz. Distance The user can specify the distance to search within the search process. This means that the user can search within a radius of this distance, and this distance starts from 250 to 3000 meters. The distance value can be changed using the left-right arrow buttons and pressing OK. Note, the user can change the distance value by 250 for every press by pressing the up-down arrow buttons and by 50 meters by pressing the left-right arrow buttons. Depth. It is the value of the maximum depth that the device can search. The depth value can be set by choosing a value from a set of predefined values within the range from 0 to 50 meters. Note, the user can change the depth value by 10 meters by pressing the up-down arrow buttons. and by 1 meter by pressing the left-right arrow buttons. Scan. After completing the previous settings, select the scanning tab using the arrow buttons, right and left. Then press the OK button above the Start Scan button. How to use. After the setup is completed, hold the device as follows, and to make sure that you're holding the device fixed to your body without moving. Then stand in the search area and press the OK button on the button board to start the scanning process. When you press the OK button on the button board in the previous window, the following screen will appear, which includes the following elements. Compass indicates the geographical direction of the device, north, south, east, or west. Antennas indicator. It is a semicircular indicator. The zero in the middle expresses the value of the angle of the inclination of the antennas, according to the direction to the right, or left within a range from zero to 90 degrees to the right, and 90 degrees to the left. Indicator arrow. It is a red indicator that moves according to the angle of inclination of the antennas and indicates the specified value on the semicircular indicator. Alignment tool. It is a color graded indicator from top to bottom and the zero point in the middle of it expresses the angle of inclination of the device from the horizon 
and the correct values are shown in green. During the scanning process, the antennas will move left and right according to the target being detected. The user should change his direction according to the direction of the antennas. Every movement will appear on the screen to make it easier for the user. The user must only follow the movement of the indicator arrow to get the correct direction. keeping the device in a correct position with respect to the horizon. Manual Long Range Locator System Manual LRL In the Manual Long Range Locator System, the search settings are adjusted manually by the user according to his preferences before the start of the search process. many options can be customized. Device installation. One, connect the IMTU probe to the device. Two, connect the antennas into the sockets in the device as follows. Three, use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Four, make sure that the lock of the antenna's unit is open so that they are movable during use. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start control Long Range Locator System, select this system from the main menu and then press the OK button. After System Selection, a screen will appear which includes a couple of tabs to set the settings for the system, which are Target. It expresses the type of target to be searched for and can choose from predefined types. Silver, Platinum, Iron, Gold Veins, Gold Treasure, Gold Ore, Gemstone, Diamond, Copper, cavity, bronze. The target type is chosen by using the left-right arrow buttons and pressing OK. Distance. The user can specify the distance to search within the search process. This means that the user can search within a radius of this distance. And this distance starts from 250 to 3,000 meters. The distance value can be changed using the left-right arrow buttons and pressing OK. Note, the user can change the distance value by 250 for every press by pressing the up-down arrow buttons and by 50 meters by pressing the left-right arrow buttons. Depth. It is the value of the maximum depth that the device can search. The depth value can be set by choosing a value from a set of predefined values within the range from 0 to 50 meters. Note, the user can change the depth value by 10 meters by pressing the up-down arrow buttons. and by one meter by pressing the left-right arrow buttons. Scan. After completing the previous settings, select the scanning tab using the arrow buttons, 
right, and left. Then press the OK button above the Start Scan button. How to use. After the setup is completed, hold the device as follows. And to make sure that you're holding the device fixed to your body without moving, then stand in the search area and press the OK button on the button board to start the scanning process. When you press the OK button on the button board in the previous window, the following screen will appear, which includes the following elements. Compass indicates the geographical direction of the device, north, south, east, or west. Antennas indicator. It is a semicircular indicator. The zero in the middle expresses the value of the angle of the inclination of the antennas, according to the direction to the right, or left within a range from 0 to 90 degrees to the right and 90 degrees to the left. Indicator Arrow It is a red indicator that moves according to the angle of inclination of the antennas and indicates the specified value on the semicircular indicator. Alignment Tool It is a color graded indicator from top to bottom and the zero point in the middle of it expresses the angle of inclination of the device from the horizon and the correct values are shown in green. During the scanning process, the antennas will move left and right according to the target being detected. The user should change his direction according to the direction of the antennas. Every movement will appear on the screen to make it easier for the user. The user must only follow the movement of the indicator arrow to get the correct direction. Keeping the device in a correct position with respect to the horizon. Ionic system. The Ionic search system has been developed according to a completely new technology, which is the first of its kind in metal detectors and represents a major improvement over the traditional system that existed before, where the new technology allows for more accurate detection of ion fields resulting from metal targets buried underground thanks to the intelligent multi-transceiver unit, IMTU that ensures accurate reception and processing of signals with the ability to control some of the signal settings on the screen to ensure accurate results. Device Installation 1. Connect the IMTU probe to the device. 2. Use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Note, make sure that the antenna's unit lock is closed, so the unit must be stable during use. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start using, Select the Ionic system from the main menu. Then press the OK button. After the selection, a screen will appear, which includes the following elements. Signal Sensitivity. It is a signal sensitivity indicator, presented in the form of a circular indicator whose value is in percentages. During the search process, according to scanning the surrounding area in search for targets, the Ionic system will make a special sound that represents the target's ability and is related to the value of the distance between the user and the target. The user can change the sensitivity value at any time to be able to analyze the resulting sound, whose intensity changes according to the target distance. Gain. It is a value that represents the signal strength and is represented in the form of a circular indicator whose value is also represented in percentages. User can control signal strength using this option. To set the device to detect large targets, 
decrease this value and increase this value for detection of small targets. To select and change the two previous indicators, use the left-right arrow buttons, then press OK. To change the value, use the up-down arrow buttons, and then OK. How to use? After the setup is complete, be sure to assemble the device exactly as shown in the assembly part of this manual. Then hold the device, like the image below. During this system, we press the start button to reset. Then we move the device slowly up and down with the same speed, while the device is slightly lowered towards the ground. In the case of a close signal, it will appear on the ionic indicator on the screen. The indicator increases with the increase in the signal strength, or as we approach the target. In conjunction with the issuance of a gradual acoustic alert, the increase in the signal strength, the indicator appears in red if there are metals. And the indicator appears in blue if there are spaces. To make sure the signal is correct, we do a reset by pressing the start button once, but in a different direction than the one from which the signal was picked up the first time. This step is repeated more than once. If the signal continues to appear, this means that the signal is completely correct. Warning. You should not reset the signal from the side because it will lose the signal and the device will deal with it as a normal level of the signal. Bionic system. This search system is similar to the Ionic search system in terms of working method and relying on the IMTU unit to perform the scan. The difference, however, is that here, Ionic signals are captured from a specific metallic object, for example, from gold. Then, the search is directed towards capturing ionic signals similar to metal objects buried underground within the surrounding area. That means in the ionic search system, the search is random and free. But in the bionic system, the search is directed according to a specific target type. That is, according to predefined signals. Device installation. One. Connect the IMTU probe to the device. Two, use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Note, make sure that the antenna's unit lock is closed, so the unit must be stable during use. Note, Immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start using, select Bionic System from the main menu. Then press the OK button. After the selection, a screen will appear which includes the following elements. Signal Sensitivity it is a signal sensitivity indicator presented in the form of a circular indicator whose value is in percentages. During the search process, according to scanning the surrounding area in search for targets, the ionic system will make a special sound that represents the target's ability and is related to the value of the distance between the user and the target. The user can change the sensitivity value at any time to be able to analyze the resulting sound whose intensity changes according to the target distance. Gain. It is a value that represents the signal strength and is represented in the form of a circular indicator whose value is also represented in percentages. User can control signal strength using this option. 
to set the device to detect large targets. Decrease this value and increase this value for detection of small targets. To select and change the two previous indicators, use the left-right arrow buttons, then press OK. To change the value, use the up-down arrow buttons, and then OK. Circular Indicator It is an indicator in the form of four overlapping circles of different diameter, with four small circles on the outside of the second circle. Signal Strength Indicator It is a horizontal indicator made up of vertical rectangles whose heights and colors change according to the strength of the signal and the proximity of the targets. How to use After the setup is complete, be sure to assemble the device correctly. Hold the device like the next figure. Point the IMTU head of the metal object of the model target type you want to find and then press the start button of the device to set the target type. By using this system, we move the unit of the ionic system in all directions slowly. In case there was a close signal, it will appear on the indicator. The indicator in this system will appear stably in the event of a field similar to the field that was measured in conjunction with a sound alert indicating the target. In the event that the signal appears, it can be confirmed by returning to the first metal object and repeat the operation again. Note. There is no reset in the system, so in any point which we press the start button will be the new field on which to match. Live Stream System Live Stream a live stream is a system developed to detect various ferrous and non-ferrous metals in real time. That is, in the form of a direct transmission with a direct visual representation of the signal according to a specific color that reflects the nature of the target. For example, precious metal, gold, or tunnel. The signal measurement process, or the scanning process, is done by the VST, Vertical High Signal Transceiver Unit, which is a probe at the end of which there is a quadrilateral cone on both sides and bars consisting of many light-emitting diodes or LEDs that change their colors according to target type, that is, depending on the target that the VST probe is passing over at this moment. For example, the LED lights will light up in blue when passing over a cavity or space, such as a tunnel, and light up red when passing over a precious metal, such as copper or silver, etc. The signals captured by the VST probe are represented on the screen of the device as a continuous color stream that changes colors according to the type of potential target. Similarly, the color will be red when capturing a precious metal signal green for the ground, blue for a cavity. In conjunction with the color changing indicator, the device will make sound tones according to the type of target whose signal was captured. Also, the user can see a visual representation of the signals captured on any supported Android tablet via multi-visual analyzer that displays the signal plot in a graph and the color of the graph will change in a similar way depending on the nature of the signal, that is, the type of metal or target. Device Installation 1. Connect the VST probe. 2. Ensure that the antenna's unit is locked and closed so that the unit is stable during use.
2. Use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To start using, select Live Stream System from the main menu, and then press the OK button. Note, use the scanner speed option to speed up, slow down the sensor scan speed. To use it after changing, press the start button of the device to set it. How to use. After setting up, point the VST sensor vertically on the ground and start the scan process. Make sure that there are no metal objects in your shoes and keep the distance between the probe and the ground constant. Also during this procedure, the VST sensor should point vertically toward the ground. It should not rotate or pivot or even swing. During the operation, you will see the color change in the device screen and according to the color change, the user will know whether there is a target underground or not. On the right side of the screen, there are three boxes, which are Value. It directly indicates the value of the signal captured by the search sensor. The colors of the indicator change according to the change of these values. Speed. Use the scanner speed option to speed up, slow down the speed of the sensor scan. Any change in the speed will ask the user to press the Start button to apply the new changes. Sensitivity. Use the sensitivity option to increase or decrease the sensitivity of the search sensor. Any change in the sensitivity will ask the user to press the start button to apply the new options. The following is a description of the connotations of different colors. Green, normal, natural ground. Light blue, a small space. Blue, a large void, like a tunnel. Yellow, a small piece of a metal object. Red, gold, or a larger piece of metal object. During the live stream, the LED lights on the head of the VST probe display the same color as the screen display making it easier for the user to focus on the scan process instead of looking at the screen. The Multi-Visual Analyzer app. In live stream system, the device was equipped with a special technology which makes it capable of full control of scan process through the Multi-Visual Analyzer app. To do so, turn the device on and assemble the device according to the live stream system. Then, enter the Multi-Visual Analyzer app on the tablet and choose a live stream system from the app. We will see the system started working immediately in the app and the display method is relatively similar to the system display on the device screen in terms of the flow of the colors of the indicator on the tablet. With two boxes on the top right of the tablet screen, which is the direct value of the search sensor and the calibration box, which is used to recalibrate the search sensor by pressing it once. While using the live stream system from the tablet, a screen will appear on the device and an alert informs the device is connected to the tablet. To exit the system, when the device is connected to the tablet, please exit the app on the tablet first and it will automatically return to the main menu on the device. Pinpointer system.
This system is used to determine the presence of a metal target or cavity with the precise identification of the location in which the metal or buried cavity is located through a sound or graphic display on the screen. The scanning process is conducted for potential targets via the VST probe, but with the selection of the pinpointer system. Device installation. One, connect the VST probe. Note, ensure that the antenna's unit is locked and closed so that the unit is stable during use. Use the power socket on the bottom of the main unit to connect the battery. Note, immediately after entering any search system from the main menu, a video will appear which will notify the device's assembly steps. System Selection To get started, select Pinpointer System from the main menu and press OK. After the selection, a Pinpointer System screen will appear, which includes the following elements. Sensitivity. During the search process and according to the target scan, the device will make a special sound tone with a graphical presentation on the screen that represents the presence of the target underground. User can change the sensitivity value at any time to control the output sound and visualization on screen. Calibration. User can use this option to calibrate the probe sensitivity at any time according to the type of ground and the condition of the area to be scanned. Reset. Use this button to return the calibration to the default value. How to use. After setting up, point the VST sensor vertically on the ground and start the scan process. Make sure that there are no metal objects in your shoes and keep the distance between the probe and the ground constant. Also during this procedure, the VST sensor should point vertically toward the ground. It should not rotate or pivot or even swing. On the screen of the device, a bar graph is displayed that appears in green in the case of natural earth. In the case of receiving metal signals, a graph which includes rectangles with different lengths will appear on top of the horizontal center line. In the case of receiving underground cavity signals, such as a tunnel, they consist of rectangles facing downward of the horizontal center line of different lengths going to dark blue color. On the screen of the device, some values that affect the scanning process can be controlled, such as sensitivity and calibration value. 